let's go to database monitoring we'll have an example server for this as well also prepared with a few sensors so the native um, native support in PAG for database systems is of course Oracle MySQL and Microsoft SQL we have have two of them here well, let's go for example in the Microsoft one and the sensor of course is not only checking uh, well, first it's checking if the database is available of course but you can also uh, if you want to set a query a SQL query to be executed by the sensor so in this case the example Northwind database is here with username password and we'll check an uh, SQL query here and we'll we do process the numerical result and also the number of records and the record count uh, you can change that to a string result to uh, just a response has to contain or doesn't have to um, must not contain and of course condition warning if uh, values are higher than that or lower than that so that's uh, also possible on the MySQL and Oracle. So the the it's just the technology behind that's different to access the different database system. And for Microsoft SQL servers, we also have WMI based sensors that show performance information. Um, so for example, the general statistics here show logins per second, logouts per second, user connections. Uh, again, it's just a demo SQL server, so there's not much going on. You see there was a little bit going on here in the last 30 days, but uh, since then the last two days were really quiet. But we can also check the, for example, the memory manager statistics. So you see connection memory, uh, SQL cache memory, optimizer memory, all these. Um, performance counters you can see uh, in such a um, WMI SQL Server sensor and then of course set thresholds on, on them if you want to be alarmed or notified if something is exceeded but that's again very individually depending on what your SQL Server is, is actually doing so this demo SQL Server isn't doing very much as we just saw so the memories are quite low but of course on a production SQL server these will look entirely different so you need to apply different thresholds then or your your own basically